Hey everybody, welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, Sound of Freedom. I am, I, I know, um, conflicted, excited? I was actually really excited to see this. I thought I should have went to see it in a film. There was a lot of controversy about this. It's about human trafficking and about a um, former government agent who becomes a vigilante who embarks on um, a mission to rescue hundreds of children who are being human trafficked, right? And so, if, unless you lived underneath the rock, you know what this is about. And there was all these TikToks about people not being to get into film. And then there's people saying that, okay, it's not that. They're just trying to drive people to the film. And, you know, or the Hollywood is trying to keep people away from the film. It's all ridiculousness, right? 7.8 on IMDb, 64,603 people rated so far. Two hours and 11 minutes wrong, long. Jim Cassavetti and Maria Serrano. Um, and I'm sure there's a ton of other people in it. Um, but, uh, you know, it's awful. I was, tell I was telling my wife, hey, I'm going to watch this tonight. She's like, ah, oh, that's awful. And I'm like, well, no, I think it's good. You know what I mean? That that, that we watch this. And then she's like, well, you don't want to watch stuff like that. So it's like, that's where I'm conflicted. You know, I... I I can't believe that this actually happens, that people actually think it's okay. And I don't know anything like I know stuff from, you know, just whatever. I haven't witnessed human trafficking. Like, like how do people think it's okay? Like, how do you go to bed at night and think that that's just okay? Like, taking somebody against their will and making them do stuff that they don't want to do. I, I, it, it's baffling. And I know I'm, I'm sorry. Let's take it back to the movie. I'm going to get into it, and, and and my wife drew me away. I was just like, all right, see a good movie, and I can't even say that now. Like, let's see a movie, you know? Um, so, I don't know. I don't want to say I'm excited, but I am. So, this is a tough one, people. This is probably the toughest, one of the toughest ones I've done before. Who knows, maybe I won't even get through it and be able to do a review. So, that happens sometimes with... Difficult subjects. All right, stick around. I'll be back. Hey, everybody. We're at the credits of Sound of Freedom. Um, I don't know if I told you Mel Gibson is the executive producer of this, so, and Jim Cassavetes. Um, so, I'll have to say, start backwards real quick. Based on a true story, we got the words, we got the pictures, we got the comparison pictures. I love that. I love when they show. Jim Cassavetti and the actual Tim Ballard. I remembered his name. Um, so they, we get all that at the end. So that's pretty cool. Now, what I don't get, I think the movie is great. It is inspiring. It drives hope. Um, however, there, of course, is the subject matter, which is awful. I was worried before I... I uh, you know, before when we talked earlier, you and I, that I wasn't sure how I would be, be presenting this, this review. But I, I feel comfortable. They do a great job of, you know, showing you what's going on. But everything else is kind of implied, which is still awful. But they don't make it terribly uncomfortable to watch, which is what I was fearful of. Still not great. Don't get me wrong. I'm not, you know, I'm just saying that it, it, it could have been worse. So, with the subject matter aside, um, just thinking of, you know, trying not to think like, oh, I can't believe this really happens in, in the world today that child slavery is bigger than slavery when it was legal. Um, trying to think about that, you think about one man and his crusade and what he did. And now it's coming to light so people can see this. Just to celebrate, we talk about heroes often. I always talk about the military, the police, the firemen, like the true heroes out there. Um, this guy is another form of hero. So, um, you know, he, and you'll see the movie. I mean, just, I don't want to say he. I'll, you, you'll see what happened. He, uh, Mia Severino is his wife. Um, very supportive. So, um, he's got a big family. And basically, he was, I'll give, give you the beginning of it just to get you understanding. He was going after pedophiles and taking them down. And one of his partners just said, you know, how many pedophiles you got? Like 200 and blah, 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 right? It's like, great job. How many kids did you save? Kind of changes his mindset into more along these lines, I think. And, and so let the rest of the story unfold. I won't give you any more because I think that's 
the good part of all of this, right? Like seeing it unfold. Um, what I don't understand was where is all this controversy about, right? So I thought there was this big controversy, like certain people, and I've heard like Hollywood doesn't want you to see this film, or you know what I mean, like maybe political people don't want you to see this film. Um, to be honest, and and then, then the, remember I was saying the movie theaters were shutting down and people were putting on TikTok. Now I believe that that might have just been a marketing strategy from the Sounds of Freedom. They wanted you to go see this movie. Because what I didn't see, I mean, all right, sex trafficking, child sex trafficking exists. I, I knew that, right? And that they bring that to light and you know it happens in the United States and you know people in the United States are involved. This movie does not implicate, at least from my perception, anyone else. You know what I mean? It's not like, oh, so-and-so here was funding that, or part of this, or, you know, there was nothing like that in this movie that I didn't, that I saw. So if it's there, it's subtle, and, or, you know, just beyond my purview, if you will, you know, because I didn't see that. So that I'm a little surprised by. I mean, I think the movie's done well. Like I said, all the other things, the subject matter isn't great, but stories told. Um, the, the best it can be to bring this stuff to life, but I didn't see anything like it was... I don't get that whole conspiracy theory and uh, they don't want you to see it kind of stuff. So, there you go. I don't know. Uh, and that's the only thing that I miss. Otherwise, I thought it was great. I did try and look it up online. I don't normally look at other things before I give you my, you know, uh, first impressions. Uh, but I tried to see what did this movie implicate. I couldn't find anything like that. There are some things like what's true and what's not true. Of course, there, all these pieces aren't going to be 100% true, and I don't really care. I mean, that doesn't matter to me, but, I mean, in some cases. But it's not, there's nothing there that's calling out anybody, so I just don't understand that. And So, and everything just about happens outside of the United States in this movie. So... So there you go. So don't go in to think that you're going to see this big conspiracy theory and you're going to find out well, who's behind everything like that. No, it's really just about one man, his crusade, to help prevent child trafficking. I mean, maybe, um, what's his name? The guy with the island, uh, whatever his name was. Uh, maybe that's kind of implied here. But yeah, he's already done that. So, um, and went to jail and no more, right? I can't, for, I forget his name, but it's not important. I don't even want to say his name, but you know who I mean, the island guy. All right, that's it. That's the only thing I can say. But other than that, it's just a fantastic movie. Go check it out and understand what it's about before you go see it. All right, um, enough. Thanks for tuning in. Kill's Irish Pub.